My name is Steven Schroeder and I'm the co-CEO of Napoleon Group of Companies. It's a family company and we actually have three main divisions in our business. One being the fireplaces, which we're probably the most known for. We also have a new division, which we started just about seven years ago, and that is our heating and cooling division. We make ultra high efficient gas furnaces and air conditioners. Probably the division we're most known for is our gas barbecues. When we started to get involved with them, they were setting a five-year plan to double the company very aggressively, but to also think about the building blocks that they needed to put into place to make that happen. The fireplace industry has a limit to how much we can grow. We already have a very strong market share. The grills is becoming that way. We're getting very, very big. We had to look and find a new industry that where we can expand into. And we actually chose the HVAC industry, which is kind of the heating and cooling for residential and commercial. And it's a $50 billion industry in North America. It's a massive industry. Complementary to the heating theme, they do furnaces as well as air conditioning in the summer. That also fills a strategic gap in terms of smoothing out their cash flows as well. It's this whole notion of innovation, you know, new products coming to market on a constant basis, new divisions have been added over the years, and a real attention to detail with respect to their manufacturing processes. We really found a niche. We looked at the furnace, what's on the market, and we said we want to make the quietest furnace, and we want to make the most high efficient furnace on the market. And on top of it all, since we make beautiful barbecues and fireplaces, we thought would make the nicest looking furnace in the market as well. You get a real sense of pride when you walk around their various campuses. I get the same response every time that somebody does a tour with us. And the response is that there's something special. It's like an aura in your organization. Everyone's engaged, everyone's very happy, and you can tell they're very proud to build the products we build. They also build people. They hire people that have the capacity to grow with the company company's been doubled in the last five years. They want people that can come on that journey with them and they've done a remarkable job with that. And there's a real sense of being part of something larger. Not just a berry based company, but an international company. We had an opportunity in South America to open up some uh, a potential customer. The next thing I know I'm there, turned out to, to actually open up the whole Latin America market for us. Now we're in 13 countries in less than 12 months. South America is deemed to be kind of a growth market for them. The U.S. Uh, has been very successful and they've built a brand which is making them uh, recognized not only domestically but internationally. People often ask, you know, if you could say what's one thing that you, you could do to build your business on a path to being best managed. And we often say if there's one thing, it's adaptability. It's build your ability inside the business to be adaptable. That comes to culture, it comes to commitment to people, and it comes to a focused approach to innovation. All of which, by the way, you know, Na Napoleon exemplifies. The way I look at it is that we're not really just running a business, or I'm not running a business, I'm actually trying to build a business. So everything I'm doing, all these are kind of blocks to help grow the company, and that's probably the reason why we're so successful.